Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's Trips, Tips and Things. So today I'm going to be reviewing another recipe from the official Hill Valley Back to the Future cookbook. 65 recipes. Obviously I can't cook all 65 today so I'm going to be travelling to the alternative 1985 and cooking blackened fish the easy way. This is what happens when you alter with the timeline going back to 1985. Before we do, and before we start, as always, please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us promote more films and helps me cook more things like this. Anyway, let's get to it. So I've got my ingredients ready for my blackened fish the easy way. So let's go through. So many ingredients, I've had to use multiple different holders uh, in order to store it all. So first one all, we've got one tablespoon of smoked paprika. So that's the smoke kind, not the regular paprika. Uh, one teaspoon of salt. Now it says here kosher salt, but I'm just using regular salt here. Uh, one teaspoon of fresh thyme. You can see in there. I haven't got fresh, so I'm actually using dry, so I hope that's okay, but I'm using one teaspoon of uh, dry thyme. Then we've got one teaspoon of dried uh, mustard. So that's the, I'm using the yellow mustard. They do say you can use three quarters of a teaspoon of crushed Szechuan peppercorns. I haven't got that. So I'm sticking to one teaspoon of black pepper. So that's ground black pepper. You will need that anyway within the recipe. Um, I'm gonna use half a cup of salted butter. That's still in the packet there, but half a cup of the butter. And finally, two tablespoons of olive oil. So ready to go there. Next stage, I'm gonna mix all these spices up together. They do say to put it in a cake or pie pan to mix the uh, fish, or sorry, not mix the fish, mix the spices and then dip that fish in those spices. But I'm gonna mix all these together now. I'm gonna put them in a container, pad down the fish, and then we're ready to go. So, we're ready for the next stage. So now I've got my cod, this is what they're asking us to do. Um, and they say now we've got to pad it down. So I've already washed this cod, uh, two cod fillets. The recipe does say to do four, I'm cooking for myself and I probably could eat four, but it's, I'm just gonna stick with the two for now. So I'm just gonna pad down, it's saying to actually pad this down. So I'm just using a uh, regular kitchen towel and I'm just gonna dry this off. And I can see why we need to do this. this, is really so it absorbs all that spice we're gonna to mix together. Here we go, so just pad that down, make sure that's nice and dry. There we go, that fish there, nice and dry. Just gonna do a quick swap. So as you saw before, you saw my spices there, I've just given them a quick mix take off my little mixer so I've just mixed this in together and our next stage I'm going to take our dried cod which I've just patted down dry there we go and really rub in those spices so I'm just gonna do that right now so I'm trying to absorb as much of that spice as I can oh there's my timer going Turn that off, so just making sure, telling me that the oven is nice and hot. This wasn't need the oven, I'm actually cooking something else at the same time. So I'm just gonna pad these down. There we go. Now this should be enough spice for four cod fillets, so it says, but at the moment, it says really coated that one. Let's move that to one side. There we go. So I'm really, absorbing all that spice and actually it does really help drying the uh, fillets you can see that there I've really just padded that down so that's really absorbed all that spice there's hardly any left and that has only just done the two fillets so I, don't, I hope I haven't overdone the spice I don't think so there we go that looks quite good so our Cod fillets are now completely coated in all that spice. We're now ready for phase three, which is the frying. Okay, here we go, we're ready to cook. So according to the recipe, as we say, we need to melt in, I've just turned the um, gas on. So we need to melt in uh, half a cup of butter. So that's a lot of butter going in here. 
So let's just bring this in. There we go. I'll do a bit at a time. And at the same time, the olive oil. So I'll just let that melt a little bit. Okay, butter's just about melted. Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna do chef's measurements here, that's about two. Okay, look at that. We're ready to go. Let's cook our fish. So here I go, got my uh, cod ready to go. This is all coated in these spice, as we know. Let's put them in. So according to the recipe, or according to the book, it's three minutes each side. Let's go. Oh wow, you can really smell that butter. Okay, there we go. That's our little alarm telling us three minutes is done. Put a stop onto it now. Uh, what I didn't say, obviously for this I'm using, I decided to use a skillet. You'd obviously want a nice hot based pan. Apologies for the lighting. We've got the extractor fan above, which puts a little shadow here. Not gonna use a wooden spoon for this. I'm gonna use the good old spatula so I can really get under there and uh, turn this over. So here we go. I've gotta say, those spices smell amazing. They really do, and it really flavours the butter. Oops, little splash. There we go, back on for three minutes. Okay, so there we have it, there's the uh, timer. Now, what I didn't do, and it doesn't mention it in the recipe book, but I didn't baste it, so I'm just doing that quick baste now. Um, let's see how it tastes there. i have always skeptical if cod would cook in six minutes, but it does look quite firm, the fish, and it does, it's lovely and flaky. flaky. I obviously don't want it to burn. So I've had this on a medium low heat. I'm just gonna turn that off now. Okay, we're gonna serve up these bad boys and we're gonna give them a taste. Okay, and there it is, all plated up, ready to go. Blackened fish the easy way. So, according to the recipe, as they've asked it, make sure the spices are all blackened. Um, they do suggest serving this with a lemon wedge. I haven't done that here. I'm just gonna try it as is. Um, you probably could as well serve this with rice, although it doesn't mention in the recipe book, but it does look good, it smells amazing. So we're gonna give this a, a go. So here we are, the alternative 1985 timeline. We're going with the Back to the Future Hill Valley Cookbook with Black and Fish the Easy Way. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so here we go, the taste test. Black and Fish the Easy Way, uh, 1985 alternative timeline from the Back to the Future Hill Valley Cookbook. Here we go, Black and Fish. Mmm, that's actually good. I'm not the world's greatest chef, so I'm, and the reason why I'm cooking this is obviously to show you, you don't have to be a great chef to cook these recipes. And that's actually quite nice. Very spicy. Um, the cayenne pepper does give it a real kick. You can really taste that cayenne pepper in there. But with the butter, it sort of does this wonderful sort of crust all over the fish. And that's what gives it that real sort of, um, well, adds to that spice flavour. 
the fish or the actual spices themselves are burnt slightly, which I think is deliberate, hence the blackened, um, blackened fish. And that does add to a really nice crust around the fish. Uh, overall, that's a quite tasty. I do think, however, I'm going to try another bit while I'm doing this. Mm. It does need an accompaniment with it. The butter is delicious. I don't normally have butter with fish and that I can hardly recommend. It really does add to it. But I think it does need an accompaniment. I would probably add rice to that. You could have it with a salad. Potentially you could have it with even with pasta or noodles. But I think, you know, rice would be the best accompaniment to that. Probably could do with a little bit of lemon. I should have added that. But all in all, would recommend that. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's another uh, recipe from the Back to the Future Hill Valley cookbook. Uh, we will try another recipe soon. But anyway, as, as always, we'd like you to please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. And as always, you are never too old to have fun. Enjoy.